Hello Zero K fans, this is Shadow Fury 333 with the May 1v1 tournament. And we're gonna be starting this tournament with a match between Drone and Snuggle Base, who have very, very rudely started without me. Please, for God's sakes, wait for me. Ah, wait until I actually tell you what match to stream, and then you can start. Or at least in the very first time. But yeah, we have Drone and Snuggle Base on Cooper Hill. I don't have time to go over. I went over this in a recent cast, so hopefully you guys watch that, because I have no real time to go over it right now. <sighs> anyway, Snuggle Base being particularly aggressive right off the bat, where Drone... So Drone going for Cloybot Factory, while Snuggle Base goes for the Shieldbot Factory. And Snuggle Base is... Well, they're... A bit behind economically, it looks like due to Reclaim. I apologize, I can't really tell the game state, because they started without me. Arr. Don't do that. Seriously. I get it that Drone hates me, that's not the point. Anyway, Drone is... Okay, let's try to work this out. Let's see if we can piece together the game's state, shall we? The Drone right now... Looks like they're basically trying to harass around Snuggle Base. Same thing, I mean, Snuggle Base was harassing around the back here. It hasn't managed to really do too much, but... Both cases, neither the player really too far ahead. Although, try, in trying to take the hill, Snuggle Base has thrown away what advantage they had. So right now, Snuggle Base's commander are the only thing available to try to help take the hill, and that is taking a huge amount of damage from Drone. Drone going to probably take an early game one just from this single act. Snuggle Base losing their commander very early on, and Drone taking the hill as well. And we saw in the exhibition match that I casted the other day, trying to take the hill is not always the best idea if you don't have the resources to do it properly. And Snuggle Base, well, they didn't. Especially given that Drone really had... They had Warriors. They had the right type counter. So I'm not sure what Snuggle Base was planning to accomplish there. But they didn't manage to really accomplish anything. However, because Drone switched over to Rocco's after the Warriors were destroyed, the Bandits actually have a bit of a chance to take that center, and that means there's a lot of reclaim available for Snuggle Base. They could bump their income up to parity with Drone if they started reclaiming right now. Which these two... These two convicts are not reclaiming. Focusing a bit more on taking the territory before reclaiming, which is a bit of a risky strategy just because they don't have a whole lot of time. Snuggle Base is going to have to deal with warriors once again, and there is that first warrior. There it comes, and yeah, that's not going to work out too well. These convicts, they just need to reclaim what they can get. They can't stick around. They, they have to reclaim stuff now, and Snuggle Base throwing in the towel already. <sighs> that was a bit too quick. So that was game one. Sheesh. For goodness sakes, that wasn't even... There's hardly anything. So, yeah, now that I actually have a chance to go over the bloody tournament, let's... Oh. Okay, first off, let's get sacked off then. And... I might get Kanan afterwards when they're done their match. Anyway... So that is, like I said, game one. And we will have game two on Snuggle Base's choice of map. Not They're not sure if they want in Cultivate or Ravaged. I would personally go with Ravaged, since I like that map a lot. But if you want to go for in Cultivate, go for it. I don't know that Drone is not particularly okay with that particular map. So, it's a bit of a weird luck thing. Anyway, I will... Be back in a sec once Sackdoth is joined up, so stay tuned. Okay. Welcome back. Sorry about that. We have Sackdoth joining me for our commentary early on, which is kind of nice. Like I said, Kane might be joining Hello. later. So, yeah. Hey, Sackdoth. So, we're going to be going on to game two of... Oh, we're going on Cult of Wet. Cult of Wet. That is going to be... That is Snuggle Base's map choice because they lost the first game very quickly. Honestly, for no good reason, I think. They lost it essentially because they didn't take the hill and then they decided not to reclaim when they really could have. Like, they wanted to secure the reclaim before taking it rather than just taking it. Yeah, uh, Cooper Hill's a really sort of. It can be a diff map. It's one of the smallest maps out there. It's got this weird hill in the center, so taking the middle is. You know, you can rush into the middle, and uh, yeah, there's lots of reclaim. Yeah. So anyway, we're on to Inculta Wet, which is a map which I personally like a fair bit. And a lot of people yeah, like a fair bit. 
It's popular water map, yeah. And we're in Amph Mirror, so give me one second. I need to change the water settings dynamic. You can actually see what's going on underwater. There we go. Now the water is actually somewhat see-through. That's one thing I don't like about this map is the water settings. It's very difficult to see through the water in the bump water setting. Anyway. So ducks from all sides, which is very typical in the opening minutes of an amph mirror. I mean, opening minutes of any mirror, really. But amph in particular, it's just ducks. It's typical for every mirror to have ducks at the start. Don't ask me why, ducks are just that popular. Yeah, They're it's pop typical for... There's a cloakbot in to have ducks. Everyone loves ducks. Ducks are incredibly good. Yeah, their popularity just breaks the game. I, we're gonna have to nerf their popularity. <laughs> it's, it's seriously becoming a problem. I think there's about 20 GitHub issues open about that right now. It's ugly. But... Everyone loves ducks. Yeah. So this is... As most Amphib underwater mirrors go, this is probably gonna end up just being duck and scallop versus duck and scallop until someone goes for a fact switch. Yeah, I think that um, there's probably good likelihood of a fact switch at some point, but um, when you have a almost primarily entirely underwater map, um, and for a really strong option. And drone going for very quick early commander attack, the commander completely defenseless. Recon commander though, so they can at least get out of the water very briefly, but yeah, they're not in the best of positions. That duck is doing no damage at all thanks to the urchin. Yeah, it's interesting the urchin wasn't firing. I suppose it was blocked by terrain or something, but... Um, it managed to get into a wrong position and um, probably could have done a lot of damage to the commander there, but um, yeah, Miss Micro. Yeah, anyways, drone focusing a great deal on their economy. They set up already a couple conches, only a few ducks, like one or two ducks, which is a little bit unusual, but yeah, they have three conches up so far, expanding rapidly, and Snugglebase moving into attack. This is the exact perfect timing. If Snugglebase manages to get some damage in here, we can go on to game three pretty quick. Otherwise, Drone is going to have a hard time being dis... Well, they're going to have a hard time pushed away from this position. They are getting very strong economically. Snuggle Base not expanding anywhere near as quickly. They only have their commander and one conch. Their expansion has yeah. slowed. The raiders are coming in now, but they're going straight into the only urchin in the, on the, on the, in the area, so I don't think they're going to do very much. And uh, Drone scouted them out earlier. He ran into them with a single duck, so he sort of knows they're, they're around. Yeah, they're going the complete the wrong way, unfortunately. And to yet another urchin, and not going to... They could at least kill the urchin. They would be able to take the commander, no problem. But this is not a good position. Snuggle Base has no real way of getting in. They are probably going to wait until they get up to scallops, which I don't know when that's going to happen. On this map, people don't go scallop for a while. Just due to the size. Yeah. They're probably just going to raid around the side and um, just trying to contain the expansion. If he's if even north right now, he'd catch... catch the um, uh, expanding constructor, but he's out of position. Maybe he can catch the commander and do something there. It looks like that's exactly what they're... Well, they're not trying to go for that, but that's what they'll probably accomplish. This commander is not in range of any urchin. There's nothing defending it. These two ducks don't know it's there, but it's there. Oh, they almost know it's there, too. Their vision range is just about to get to it. And Snuggle Base is actually going towards the northeast. That is a very useful thing to have happen. Yeah, it's a little bit late because the urchin's up now, so it's going to run into another urchin. These aren't getting as much accomplished as they could have. No, sadly they aren't. That is going to be quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, he, he spent a little bit too much time dithering around the corners and sort of one room back and forth, and he knew that he'd run into a duck already, so the drone had plenty of time to respond to this, and drone's powered up his economy now, and he's pumping out attack units, and he's sending his own raiding force towards the enemy. While the ducks that were camping the metal extractors near the commander are now getting picked off by the urchin and pushed back. So yeah, his raids failed, and now it's time to, with much less economy, to defend against drone. And drone scouts, drone ducks coming in very quickly as well. Snuggle base. Okay, this entire area here is dead. Snuggle base is basically going to lose it. I don't see drone backing away. The urchin on the land is the only problem. Yeah, he, he can snipe around the edges just just from out of range, which he's doing right now. Uh, that's going to be quite useful. But um, but yeah, there's no, there's not that much defending it. Um, maybe his commander can get something done. It can jump up on land, or maybe he can repair the urchin. But he's going to lose a lot of. Uh, Win tidal generators, which is kind of important for his uh, energy that economy. Is, yeah, and given that Snuggle Base was already behind an economy, that is an even bigger blow. And Snuggle Base's commander is right in the middle of all of this. There's. 
Well, no direct threat at the moment, but it's tricky. Snuggleway is wisely pulling it out of the water just to make sure that it doesn't get killed that easily. Still, though. Yeah, he's getting a urchin up on the land. Yeah. And gunship factory switch from drone going very quickly for rapiers, which is the unit of choice. I mean, everyone goes for rapiers. And also, we see that there's about half a dozen scallops at this point already in in existence with another one on the way. While drones, ducks are getting not quite surrounded. Very nicely juking Snugglebase's forces and able to split them off. Going 6 on 4 against these particular ducks over behind, in the back of Snugglebase's group. Where Snugglebase will yeah. be able to come in and that's still death. Drone and ducks are just getting split up and um, drone ducks are staying together while Snugglebase is getting split up. He's losing more than he should considering what a military advantage he has here. But he's managed to clear off that raid so hopefully he can start expanding again before the... Um, uh, before the scallops come in, which they're starting to come in now, they're picking off their first conch. Yeah, the first conch is dead. Over to the north, we have more ducks coming in, tearing apart the conches and the metal extractors once they get to it. Are yeah, ducks coming I think in? the. Are those? So I think the um, gun ship, sh ship switch is a really good um, switch in this matchup because there's, mm, you know, there's not enough stuff that you know you don't have a lot of uh, ships and stuff which um. Uh, which also yeah. have flex AA capacity. You, you're, you're relying entirely on torpedoes. Yeah. And your torpedo launchers don't shoot up. And so you're not going to be building LTs in, a, in this sort of matchup the way you might against maybe scouts and things. So, yeah, basically he has nothing on the field right now which can stop these rapiers. To the point that I'd even consider going back and cheese in this matchup. I I think, yeah, Drone might be just being playing it safe because, well, it is tournament. It's always good to play it safe in tournaments. Because rapiers, rapiers are very are, strong. Yeah, they're the they're strongest. The they're they're reliable. That's the big thing. He might also expect us an, an air switch from the enemy, and if he goes, if the enemy goes fighters, you know, and planes, you, you want to be have, have rapiers already prepared for when that happens. Yeah, um, Snuggle Base has a big army of ducks here. I mean, I don't know if he can get anything done, but um, this is his opportunity before the, those um, scallops hit and the rapiers hit. But he's rapidly running out of time, and he's chasing after the scallops rather than trying to do any damage himself. Yeah, although I'm not sure what choice they really have. Those scallops are going to be a huge problem right now. Mm. And down goes the commander, thanks to the... Wow, ironically, having gone to... Oh, no, no, not the commander. That's the urchin. It's just the explosion was so big. I thought it was the commander. My mistake, but you still, that urchin at the top, at the top is dead. Drapier's getting rid of all those defenses, allowing the scallops what little are left. Well, on the one hand, the ducks did work out. At this point... We do see Stunglebase able to go for a counterattack and very willing to do so. Yeah, the, the ducks are hand, cleaning up. The he could have afforded to pull less. So just killing everything above the surface. He's trying to make a razor's kiss right now with his commander, and that's the sort of thing he should be doing. Also making some anglers from his um, factory and raise a kiss again near his factory. This should halt the rapiers, but he's taken so much economic damage and he was so far behind to begin with. I mean, he's all he's managed to do is at best deal with the enemy's military. Yeah, well, at least and he's the, not even mentioning that. But the anglers are up at any rate. They are up. The ducks are able to get through all these scallops. Because at least underwater, ducks counter scallops. It's not like above water where it's the opposite. Mm. So there is a bit of a chance. Snuggle base can push in here. And drone doesn't really have much in the way of defenses to deal with. How many ducks are here? To deal with 18 ducks. Well, it's about two dozen to begin with, but still. He's Dealing spreading them a little bit too much, and they're getting spread. What he needs to do is he needs to focus them a little bit closer together. Enough that they don't get hit by AOE, but enough that they can take out these urchins, clear out the economy, go and move on to the next area. Yeah, because they lost half of those ducks just moving in past the scallops. That was a mm. big blow. But even then, we're still getting a decent amount of damage here, but at the same time, the rapiers still dealing all the damage they really need to. Yeah, he's in a position here that he could take out almost all of Drone's energy, but he's losing a lot of his own. He's finally cleared up the rapiers. And the rest are retreating, so maybe if he can get something done with his ducks, because the rapiers are quite slow, because they can't, really, so they can't really respond to the ducks, even if the ducks are above the surface, and most of the time they're below the surface. Maybe he can clean up enough of this energy that it might matter, but he's going to need to reclaim and build a lot of his energy himself. Yeah, and given that there's a duck in the back of the base, that becomes even harder, especially given that there's well, there are two ducks now for Snuggle Base. They could take care of Drone's little stray duck in the back. And they are doing yeah, so. the straight ducks. I think he's not microing it. He's probably much more concentrating on his base because it's not shooting at anything. So, actually, I think it has an attack order. So that's strange. It does, but the thing is, it's just—it's that snuggle base isn't dealing with it. That's the problem. Snuggle base is very focused on getting through this attack. 
and they won't be able to easily rebuild their energy economy, at least not as efficiently as they could otherwise. At this point, is, is Drone going to be able to pull this back? I think they will. It looks like they're trying to lure the ducks onto yeah. land. And even then, he the numbers advantage. Yeah. yeah I, he should have retreated and continued to take out these um, uh, these uh, tidal generators. Really. Yeah. If he could, could have managed it, you know, snipe and then keep on up. Yeah, going north. Have, uh, yeah, but um, instead he ran into opposition. And generally, when you're fighting in enemy territory, you don't want to uh, fight the enemy army there. Because not only do they have... Uh, an advantage there because there's static defenses, they have an advantage there because there's less time to get from the factory, which means you'll have a larger army, and there's the advantage there that you leave the little claim behind, so generally you want to hit the economy when you're on the enemy side of the base. Yeah, you mentioned when I was playing you in that little tutorial thing that we did a couple months ago that I that in the main base you want to attack energy, not metal, mm. just because of that reason. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's generally what you want to do is you attack whatever the enemy is weakest in. So if you've been raiding out all these um, metal extractors, maybe he'll have a surplus of energy and maybe he has a bunch of solar collectors and you can't actually damage them. But if he has some winds to snipe out and you have not contain his expansion, he's done a lot of expansion, you hit his base and take out all his energy, he can't spend his expansion. Uh, sometimes the, the limiting factor will also be um, uh, uh, build power. So if you there's a bunch of nodes, you can also take them out. But energy, especially if they're using wind generators, is usually the best thing to go for. Yes. Unfortunately, as we saw, they only took out about 12 or so, and no nowhere near enough to start blocking Drone. Certainly not in order to mm. block Drone back down to Snuggle Base's economy level. Drone has the map. The drone is basically yeah, entirely con. Yeah, yeah see, the, the more forces is just marching down the map now. Yeah, and Snuggle Base knows it. And that is game and match, so Drone takes the first round 2-0. Very nicely done, so that is going to be our first match for this particular tournament. Let's see who is next after this. Yes, yeah, to be expected in many ways because I mean drone is a contender to take this um take the tournament, so yeah. Alright, so what's next? Let's see. It is they have Steel Bloom, Parzival, which started already, Gusian and Kane, which hasn't started yet, and then Agent E382 versus Failthos, which I don't know if it started yet. Oh, it has started, actually. They've been going on for, looks like, Game 2 for about a minute on Red Comet, so we can catch up to that. Because, I don't know if Exploit, Exploit versus Drone, Drone's going to take that. There's kind of no question about it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and Snuggle Base is very kindly putting the results out after the matches happen. I'm very glad. Please, people, do that so we know what's going on.